Hey, what is up, guys? It is Temo Cook here today, and I'm glad to be bringing you guys another video. It has been some time now, but I did find something interesting. If some of you did not know this, now uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to get American Netflix on a Chromebook. And uh, as some of you may know, if you guys check my Google Plus profile, I did post a status saying that I did get a Chromebook, and uh, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I did not do an unboxing or a review yet, even though I said I would get a review up by um, the 31st, which was yesterday. Um, but I still didn't get to it yet, so I apologize that for that, guys. You know, it's like the end of the school year, so I'm piled up on a couple more assignments and things like that. So, uh, yeah, I'll get that to you guys as soon as possible. Anyways, let's get started. So, as many of you know, it's really hard to get American Netflix unless you know how to work your way around, like a DNS and things like that. But uh, luckily, this one extension on Google Chrome actually made it super simple. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys today. All right, so to start, what you want to do is search up Ola. And um, once you're on Ola, you're going to see this Ola free VPN secure browsing. Just want to click on that. And um, you can also get this on your Windows, Android phone, and things like that, even on your iPhone. Um, but that's only if you want to, so like, you, you guys can go check that out and see how to work it. Uh, I actually did get it, and it works really well so far. Unfortunately, there's only a 7-day trial on it, so when you actually use the VPN, unless you use your website, uh, on the app, so that's, um, I'm pretty sure you can use that as much as you want. So anyways, from here, what you want to do is, as you can see, just click Get Ola, it's free. And then it will show to add to Chrome and see all its permissions that you will give it once you click add. So just want to click add. And then once it's been added to Chrome, you can actually view it up here in the corner. So let's say if I decide to go to Netflix or things like that, you can actually disable it if you want to. So if you want to watch Canadian Netflix or if you want to watch American Netflix, you can change the country as you wish. Which I think is a really great little tool. So as you can see too, um, I'm not really sure how to change the countries yet because I've used a different version of it. It was an older one, so it wasn't as confusing as this. Uh, yeah. So you guys can actually just check that out for yourself and just like play around with it and things like that. But yeah, for now I'm not really sure how to change the settings and things like that so you can just turn it off and turn it back on i was going to show some popular sites but uh okay never mind remember so now you actually have to click on a site so i'm going to browse from netflix you know that's the most popular site for streaming videos um so as you can see i'm just waiting for it to load and you actually guys can choose what website you want to browse from and then where you want to browse from so as you can see i have a list of countries a whole bunch so as you wish you guys can change it and uh so yeah once you guys have done this you just log into the netflix and things like that and you guys can have access to all of the american netflix shows without having to play around with your dns and things like that which i know can be very confusing to some people so if you don't know how to work your way around the uh, settings for the Wi-Fi and things like that, you can just download that little extension there, and it works really great. Um, so yeah, guys, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know some of you may know this, um, know this already because it actually is a very popular method, and I've actually known it for some time, but I never got around to you know making a video about. It. I thought you know whatever, who cares about Netflix, and then. You know, I'm just like, well, I need to post a video, so I thought this would be interesting for you guys, especially those Netflix craze fans. Alright, anyways guys, I'll be uploading a second video, probably not today, but maybe at the end of the week, and it will be the review on the Chromebook HP 11 2110 NR. See you guys, and thanks for being the best audience ever. Bye.